What's up coaches? Hope you guys are doing well. Here's our video for Monday. So we're into another testing week to make sure that we're giving adequate time and focus to our centerpiece of each day, which will be the deadlift today. We're starting with the same general warm up at the beginning of each class. Just like last week, feel free to put variety to this as the week progresses. There's a link posted at the top of each day's notes that takes you all the way through the warm up from start to finish. So make sure you watch that so you know exactly how the warm up will flow. After you've done the general warm up, now we're into deadlift max prep. What you want athletes to do is grab a barbell and load it very, very light. Tens all the way up to your stronger athletes putting 45s on each side. So now that deadlift max prep, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, doing something similar to what we did with the back squat, where we're going to teach athletes to have a ritual and to be creating a mindset when they approach the bar. So it's not that they're having a conversation, um, that they're lacking focus, uh, that they're walking up to the deadlift bar, oh, I think I might get this, that they're walking up with purpose. They have some type of ritual uh, as they set their feet, as they set their hands, and so on when they're working for that heavy single or that heavy set. Now, as we get into the bar and we've made our setup, the first thing we're gonna practice is removing the slack or getting tight. I like the idea of removing the slack and hearing the click on the bar. Taking all the slack out of the system makes sense to me, all right? So that's what we wanna go through first. They're gonna make their approach up, and then they're gonna take all the slack out of the system and relax, all right? Practice that a couple times. I'm gonna leave this up to you guys on how you execute this, but we wanna use these particular steps. Now, what we're gonna do is practice pressing the earth down, using my quads and legs right, to push the floor away, to break the floor, and to get the barbell to the knees, all right? So I'm not pulling right from the beginning. What I'm doing is setting up, taking the slack out, and then I'm pushing the floor away with my legs to start. So we want to do that with those three steps now. Ritual, set up, take the slack out, now push the floor away to the knees. All right? Now to finish, we're going to talk about using the hips. I'm going to think about driving my hips horizontally through, getting my hips to the bar, butt squeeze, belly tight. So I make my approach to the bar, I'm going to make my setup, now I'll take the slack out, push the floor away to the knees, drive the hips through, boom and finish. Now all that happens in uh, a course of one to three seconds when they actually do the lift, but practicing in those steps can get athletes their mind right and to get them into the right positions as they move into the max. All right. So depending on your group here, if you have a real experienced deadlift group, you may only do it a couple times through. If you have a less experienced group, let's get some more practice in with that particular setup. All right, so the centerpiece of the day, we're retesting the deadlift. We have a um, competitor group doing a one rep max, performance group doing a five rep max, fitness health group doing a 10 rep max with kettlebell, single or double. Uh, wear a belt. Everyone needs to be wearing a belt to max out. Uh, if you, they don't have one, make sure you guys have those available and convenient for people to use. Athletes, same concept of all the other maxes here, guys. We're practicing low volume, high rest. We wanna be super fresh between sets. All right, and we want to be doing very small sets on the way up. Um, the five rep max doesn't carry a tempo. They don't have to control at a certain pace on the way down, but no bouncing. Uh, some specifics to each track. Once 50% is passed for the competitive track, no more than a single. All right, we may do you know 10, 8, 6 as we're building up to that 50%, but once 50% is passed, no more than a single rep. Should be five to seven building singles over the course of that buildup to that heavy single for the day. Performance fitness, gotta keep the volume low. Sets of five on the deadlift are very taxing, all right? So once you go over 50, do not go over five, all right? I would do sets of you know two to three, maybe even ones, uh, once you pass that 50% mark and then leave the gas in the tank for your first attempt at five reps. Likely only two heavy attempts here. Uh, you know, it really, really taxes the system to do a heavy set of deadlift for five. So they can't expect to do like four to five attempts. Most people are gonna be doing two heavy attempts here and they need to be really smart about how they get there. 
the optional conditioning, just like we did with the squat the uh, the other day, we're going to be leaving this for athletes that get to their max quickly um, and they want to breathe hard for the day. Maybe they've just practiced their lifts. Um, you know, they're not really ready to max the deadlift. Then I would simply start the clock here during the deadlift, and then they're free to pursue that conditioning wherever they like. You'll be roaming around kind of with freedom because you're off the clock for the deadlift and you can help those that need help. All right, hope to see lots of PRs today. Um, would love to uh, have some feedback on how you incorporated the deadlift prep, how that went with your class, and then would love to see um, a breakdown of PRs in the comment section. Cool, hope you guys have a great day, see ya.